Thank you, Mr. President. And I rise in opposition to what was just said. Um, first of all, let's put in perspective what we're talking about here. We're talking about break walls that were put up 60, 70 years ago when, in my community, fishing was a big, big issue. People that lived along the Garden Peninsula, as an example, would build these stone break walls so they could bring their boat in at night, protect it from the weather. That's what we're talking about. What's since happened is, and by the way, nobody, nobody 60, 70 years ago made an issue out of the, quote, bottomlands. I fear what's been happening is the bottomlands are being used as a whipping tool to kind of shape the shoreline the way some people believe it should be, meaning human activity gone, which is ridiculous. Quite frankly, we did offer in the last go-around on this to allow for access by the public. I offered up the fact that you could go and use these things for a harbor of safe refuge. We have a lot of sportsmen, fishermen that go out into, into the bay and they go fishing. Every now and then a storm kicks up. If they wanted to go and use one of these harbors for a harbor of safe refuge, they could do that. That's what we offered up as part of the compensation for the harbor being there. So that was rejected. So this really isn't about the ecosystem and it really isn't about whether or not they're using bottomlands and they should be compensating for using it. This is about a, an agenda of removing people from using the great outdoors because they're making an issue out of a very small thing. I'll be happy to work with the good senator on something on a bigger scale. I'm all in. We, sh we need to be careful what we're doing, but we're talking about small little harbors. And by the way, the idea that $500 to $1,000 isn't a big deal. Go tell that to someone that's on a fixed income. That's how this issue started. I had a constituent on a fixed income, a widow. Her husband passed away. That was their retirement home. She, all she had was what she had coming in with Social Security. All of a sudden, the department came and said, you now owe us $500. And folks, this cost or this billing isn't something that's been around. This is pretty new to all these people. When they bought that place, there was no history of billing for using the bottomlands. There was no question about using the bottomlands. This is recent. This is something the department went off on a mission, and, it, and all of a sudden, they see money coming in. Well, that's great, but it's at the expense of the little, little guy out there. I hope we can stand up for the constituents today and protect them from the overreach, because that's exactly what this is. And it's about time we start respecting people and their rights to use the great outdoors, not hinder it. Thank you, Mr. President.